What's going on 100 Gang? It's your boy 100 Gang Nate, back at it again with a new video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you've been with the channel, you know we really, really appreciate it. And I forgot to mention, if you need some drip, go ahead and go to 100gangclothing.com, pick up some clothes, it's real chilly. We got some hoodies out there. Today is kind of sunny, so I'm out here with the short sleeve, but you can go over there and get you some drip. Let's go. So today I'm gonna to be telling you guys how you can attain your dream muscle car Z01, Hellcat, Hellcat, Red Eye, whatever it is, SS, SS, one o Willie, while still maintaining a normal job. A lot of people feel like you gotta have a crazy, crazy income to have a car like this. And you should have some income, but I'm gonna show you some small, small steps, some things you could do to make sure that you can get your dream car in a real, real easy, simple way if you're disciplined. Let's go. Full start in three, two, one. So the first thing you want to do to be able to attain your dream muscle car with a normal job is you want to get a list, right? You want to write down the car that you want on that list. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to choose the car, you want to put it down, and you want to set a vision for the car that you want to have. Like, you got to have a vision. Like, that's the most important first step to going, because there ain't no point of going if you don't know what you're going for. So write down the car that you want, put that thing on the list, get it down on paper, and put it in a place where you can see it every day, every day. The second thing you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead and check your credit, all right? You can go, I don't recommend Credit Karma, but you can go to uh, my FICO, or you can just uh, look up and get an official copy of your credit report, you know, which you get one free a year, and uh, you wanna see if your credit score is 680 and above. 680 and above will usually get you in a good door, but you really want to be around 700, 730, 750, preferably. But 680 will get the job done. If you're not at a 680, you're below that. First thing you're going to have to do is clip your credit, uh, pay off some debt, make some phone calls, uh, get some pay for deletes in, and then get that credit score above that 680, get it into that 700, 750 range. That's the second thing you want to do. Next thing you want to do, big fella or young woman, you want to go ahead and stack that bread up. Some call it money, some call it moolah, some call it money, Somebody, some people call it fedia. What you want to do is you want to stack that as high as you can to the ceiling. Try to get 10 to 15 bands if you can. The more money, the more better. Because when you go in there, they may actually put down a down payment or you may want to put down one anyway for yourself for the car. Another reason why you want to stack the bread high is you want to be at least six months ahead even a year ahead on payments. So when you get this vehicle, you know you got a year cushion to be comfortable and not panic about the car note. And this is a side pro tip. If you wanna stack your money even faster, even quicker, if you have any bad habits like drinking, smoking, anything like that, cut that out immediately because that alone is gonna help you stack more money because those habits are very, very expensive. Drinking and smoking be expensive. Y'all can't tell me otherwise, but if you stop that, you're gonna be able to stack even more money. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna create a budget. So you want to go ahead and research how much your insurance is going to cost you per month. You want to get an average of how much your uh, your gas is going to cost you per month. And you also want to get an average of your car note. You put those three things together amongst your other uh, bills that you have due, you know, and you see what you're going to have to make every month to be able to afford the car. You know, like, for instance, you know, like my car payment is such and such and my insurance is such and such. And I know I spent about... On gas, I spent about probably three, four hundred dollars a month. So you gotta factor in those things. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna locate a good dealer, preferably a great dealer, lock in that deal, try not to play any markups. In my case, I built my car, so I don't have to pay any markups. So you don't wanna pay any markups at any cost if you can avoid it. Uh, these days it's kinda hard to, but if you can avoid it, try to you like avoid it at all costs. I mean, if you had an option and you want to build your own car, I feel like that's the best option to go with, but do that, lock in that deal with the dealer. And next thing from there, sign that dotted line, sign those papers, and you're good to go and enjoy your vehicle. But make sure, make sure to maintain your budget because this is going to be the key to having the car of your dreams, your muscle car um, slash sports car of your dreams. You know what I'm saying? And you could do this on a job as if you're working 60 hours a week, um, you want to be making at least, I would say, $17, $18 an hour. If you work 40 hours a week, you want to be at least making 30 to make this happen. You know what I'm saying? You want to at least be making, I would say, at least 1000 a week if possible. You know what I'm saying? If you could do that, you're great to go. Especially if you like, if you have the ability to have roommates and stuff like that, it's going to be really easy for you. But if you have 
a house and you're paying all bills by yourself, make sure that you're making at least a thousand or twelve hundred a week. But if you have roommates, it's gonna be even easier for you to get your dream car. I feel like a lot of people feel like this stuff is out of reach, and it's not. It just takes focus and discipline. Discipline more than anything. If you're disciplined, I believe you can accomplish anything in your life. Um, that's for me, that's for you, that's for anybody that's trying to go after anything. Discipline. You know what I'm saying? You keep that in mind, and you're gonna get what you're going after. And like I said before, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you've been with the channel, I really, really appreciate it. Go ahead and go to 100gangclothing.com, get some drip so you can be fresh like me. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Let's go. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. Miles inside these shoes so I don't stomp by tiptoe. Fell a thousand times and still I roll no limp though. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have.